Whoa, all right guys, what is growing on? So today's follow-up video is gonna be about Jim Kovaleski. I'm finally back at everybody's favorite farmer's house. And unfortunately, I did not make it to Maine this year. We're just, I think, today, September 21st. Jim is coming back uh, mid-October, October 15th. Here today, I got the dump trailer, got the Kubota, got the dump truck, helping Jim kind of get the backyard beds set. And he's got some cool additions coming on this year. I've heard talks of more market garden in the backyard, um, we're helping them with the bed around the back for more food forest fruit trees um, and potentially even some chickens coming so exciting stuff once jim gets here we'll get more into depth on that still haven't even dropped the dump trailer um, put about 50 yards of that um, what i like to call cheese newport ritchie compost the guys say it kind of smelled like beef um, over here in the yard and ran it all into the back with the kubota and i'll show you that here in a second but we'll show you what jim's front yard is looking like and it is no lack of a jungle I can tell you a little bit earlier in the year, the beans were so aggressive, it almost looked as if they were overtaking the sweet potatoes here. It was pretty wild. Um, I can tell you as those beans set seed, kind of started to get set back, the sweet potatoes have really taken over, but it was kind of wild. Now we just have a sea of green throughout here. Um, still some beans that are kind of uh, died back there on the trellis. And there's some of the bean areas I was talking about. And this stuff was so aggressive, in a good way aggressive, but in a bad way kind of overtook the sweet potatoes. So got some little palms coming up, but compared to where it was a few months ago, um, and now the sweet potatoes have really, really come back. I mean, just look at the sea of green through here. Probably definitely coming back again with the Kubota. It helped Jim get these vines up like we did last year. All we're doing is taking those vines off the ground. Jim's gonna actually harvest the potatoes, but we help him with that mass amount of work. Last year, I think he had like 20 volunteers did it in a few you know a few hours probably same thing again this year so jim's going to be coming back harvesting sweet potatoes harvesting turmeric um you know potentially moringa there's papayas around here and still some sedges um i can tell you that nick who's been caretaking for jim has been out here weeding three to five hours a week this side looks really good i know he does it in sections so he's probably getting ready to get over to that corner and it's really important you know if you stay on top of those weeds from letting them go to seed when we're talking about Bidens and things like that, you know, to get them out of there while they're small, you can really stop the problem. But, you know, along these edges here where the grass hits, so we're constantly having kind of that nut sedge issue. Guys, look at the sea of green. So sweet potatoes for days. Looking pretty awesome. So let's get in the backyard. I'll show you some of those beds that we've started to add. And I just got the camera working when I got here. Um, I had camera issues. I put it down. I charged another battery. I got it up I have to like flip the back screen now to get this thing to start working So probably time for a new camera some technical difficulties. I did not get any befores of that backyard And I am just walking through a sea of green back here and We'll show you what we did in the backyard. These are all the peanuts that Jim had planted All right, so stepping here into the backyard Trying to show you some of these additions. These are those mulberries we got Jim last year. The uh, world's best Thai dwarf. And this is the bed that we put in along the backyard. We ended up going just over the grass with about a thick 12 inch layer of mulch. Same thing Jim's done throughout the whole front yard. Oh, oh, getting her cleaned up. What's going on, dude? What's going on? Yeah, I heard you got a new video out there. I do. I've got a couple more coming. It's about the market garden? Yeah. I'm going to have to put some links in the description. I know. You have to. I put you got your links 16, in mine. 16,000 subs. They got to head over, huh? Oh, yeah. What, do they hit that bell to stay notified? Is oh, that yeah. what it goes on? I guess. I don't know. All right, Nick. <laughs> Woo! All right, getting her cleaned up. So, big old Pomeria. Got a bunch of mulch underneath this guy, too. Oh, oh, T-Dog in the house. Yeah. Strapping young lad. How you doing, man? I'm well. You moving some mulch? I'm moving some mulch. Whoa. Speaking of strapping, we strapped some trees yesterday, didn't we? Oh, did we ever. Woo! What does this stuff smell like, Trice? It smells like cheese or beef jerky. I don't beef know. jerky? <laughs> what? All right. So, big bed along the back. This might be the chicken zone. I'm not sure. There was a big pile of rock there. Took us about four buckets. It's probably about 8,000 pounds of boulders in the back of the truck. Some old weed mat. I got to go uh, dispose of the weed mat. We're going to try to reuse those rocks. This is Nick's trailer. This thing's traveled all the way from Maryland to Washington to back to Florida to Virginia. I think he's done some traveling in that thing. So nice 12 inch layer of this cheese beef jerky. This papaya was already here and a little bed up against the back of the house. So 
I think there's potentially some more market area, market garden area going in back here. Like I said, some chickens and more fruit trees kind of up along this entire bed on the property. So stay tuned to see what Jim does here in the backyard. Um, I think most of the veggie expansion is going to probably be over there on that side, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, PP, you getting those weeds out of there? Hey, you look pretty over here. Oh, dude. Whoa. What's up? What's going on? It smells like teriyaki sauce out here with this mulch. Uh, smells oh, good. You like that, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, so uh, rumor on the street, you're doing your first design. I am. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Yeah, you guys ready? Watch I mean, out. We're going to do a feature on it, so uh, I hope you're ready to show this thing off, walk us through the design process, yeah. kind of give us all the different elements. You know it, you okay. know it. Yeah. Come on, guys. Stay I'm tuned open. For the e feature. I'm open. All right, all right. All right. Breaking her out. Ant traps probably need to get some bait and get filled back up. So, a little backyard uh, update. Some new things happening back here. There was a pepper tree there, a bunch of rain trees back here, some uh, cherry laurel. We hooked a chain to all those, got them out from the root ball. Hopefully, stop that problem for the long term. And next video I can make here, Jim will be back. I guarantee we're taking up vines. Um, I think there's a lot of cool stuff coming here this next year. And I've got some really cool videos coming from my place because. Market Garden's coming along, so I'll leave link, links for Nick's channel in the description. Check it out. He's made a video there already. He's got one out before me, so stay tuned. If you guys are ready to see Jim come back, raise your hand. Uh, most importantly, guys, if you haven't started a garden, get out there, pound some dirt. See you in the next video.